I want to pray with you today to encourage you and also to strengthen your faith. The Word of God teaches us that faith is the key to everything for the believer in Christ. It's by faith that we come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. It's also by faith that we live our lives with joy and gladness, knowing that there is eternity to be spent with the Father above. And perhaps one of the most prominent verses in the Bible about faith is Hebrews 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he who comes to God must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of those who diligently seek Him. This underlines just how much faith is required for the believer. And on the topic of faith, there are times you have to encourage yourself. There are times that you will have to learn to talk to yourself and tell yourself the promises of God. Tell yourself who God says you are. And when you do this, you will find that it will lift you up to walk on top of your situation rather than underneath it. It will lift your faith. Tell yourself the word of God, such as Nahum chapter 1, verse 7, which says, The Lord is good, a refuge in times of trouble. He cares for those who trust him. Tell yourself Isaiah 40, verse 29, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Tell yourself Deuteronomy 31, verse 8, The Lord himself goes before you and will be with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. And now, let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I ask that you strengthen my faith today. I confess your word today. I declare your word so that my faith is lifted and strengthened. Your word tells me that even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. I confess your word which tells me to trust in you, Lord, with all of my heart and not to lean on my own understanding, but in all my ways submit to you because you will make my path straight. God, your word is true and everlasting. I stand in faith and I confess Psalms 91 verse 10 to be my reality. No evil will befall me or my family. No plague will come near my home or my body in Jesus' name. Thank you for your word, Father. You are ever faithful. You are my hiding place. Thank you for your word, which is living and sharper than any two-edged sword. I'm praying at this time because I need you to strengthen my faith, Lord. I want to stand strong as a child of God. I want to stand strong. I want to be immovable, unshakable in my faith. Help me to be so firm and steadfast in faith so that the enemy cannot destabilize me. Lord Jesus, my faith is rooted in you. My trust is deep and hidden in you. You are a God who honors your word, and your word in Jeremiah 17 verse 7 says that blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is in the Lord, for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaves will be green. I confess today that my trust is in the Lord God Almighty. And because it is written in scripture, I claim and declare that I am like a tree planted by the waters and I am rooted in Jesus Christ. I believe your word which says that angels are surrounding me and my family and that you have charge over my life. Lord, you are indeed a God who is faithful to deliver those who trust in him. Deliver me, O Lord. I pray that you stop every attack from Satan and his evil forces in Jesus' name. 
Lord, cancel every plan of the devil with your mighty power. I declare through the authority that's in the name of Jesus Christ, the living Son of God, that there is no weapon formed against me or my family that will prosper. I declare through the authority in the name of Jesus Christ that no attack from the devil, no plan, no scheme that is set will be successful because I am hidden by the blood of Jesus. I thank you in advance for giving me the victory, Father. Psalms 34 verse 9 says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. And I understand that many will be the challenges that I will face in this life. I understand that I will face many obstacles and I will come up against opposition as I grow and develop in my faith. But in those moments of trouble, Holy Spirit, I ask that you remind me of God's word. Remind me of the promises in Psalm 34 verse 9. There may be many afflictions that I face, but the Lord will deliver me out of them all. Let this verse be etched into the deepest parts of my soul so that I will remember that the Lord will deliver me from all afflictions. So I will not trust in my own ability. I will not trust in people or wealthy friends. I will not trust in the scientists and scholars of this world, but it is in the Lord God Almighty that I will place my trust, the one who can give me the guarantee that he will deliver me from all affliction. And regardless of what form they may come in, what shape they may come in, what size or how intimidating they are, I stand and believe that God will deliver Deliver me safely from every affliction. It's only you, Jesus, who can block the fiery darts thrown by the enemy. It's only you, Jesus, who can keep me truly safe and secure. You alone can preserve my life, my health, my peace of mind even. Only my Lord, my defender, can destroy every plan that the devil has. You, King Jesus, can expose the traps set before me. So I place my faith in you. I place my trust in you. I know that if I abide in you, if I dwell in your house, then your presence will cover me from head to toe. And if God be for me, who can stand against me? Build my faith, Lord, so that I may be a stronger believer, one who is bold and courageous, one who walks in the authority of a child of God. Lord, I pray and confess that I am protected by the blood of King Jesus Christ. I have nothing to fear because the Lord is on my side. I have nothing to fear because God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. I declare that this season I am in will not destroy me. I will not be crushed by any challenge I face. I will not be destroyed by any situation or burden, but I will stand in faith and look unto King Jesus, who is my savior, my help, a stronghold in the day of trouble. Lord, I desire to do your will. Use me as a vessel, Father, in any capacity. Use me, Lord, in any way that you please so that I can have a positive impact, a godly impact on all those around me. I pray that I may be a believer that encourages others in their faith and helps to lead them to you. May I be associated with good deeds that inspire others to turn to you. Your word says from Psalms 34 verse 7 that the angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you his holy people, for those who fear him lack nothing. And so I pray that may your angels encamp around me. May you deliver me from all of my struggles. Deliver me from every stronghold, everything that seeks to stop my spiritual growth. Deliver me emotionally, physically, and spiritually from all the enemy's attacks. I bless your name, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.